Good morning, everybody. I just wanted to talk for a minute about organization in my truck. There's a certain amount of things that you have to keep on your truck. You don't always pull your trailer. I know I don't. If I'm doing little punch jobs, if I'm just in and out, I'm not going to hook up and pull it to their house. Some days I'll have nothing but things like faucet repairs, trim work, little stuff. I may have to throw one extra larger miter saw or something in the truck seat or something, but if I can just prevent even having to pull the trailer, I will sometimes. You can see right here in my back seat, I use sustainers. You can use Milwaukee Packouts. DeWalt makes T, what is it they make? T-Stacks or something like that. Anyway, there's a lot of options for storage and you may even like tool bags. I'm not a fan of tool bags. They just, they collect dirt and everything else inside and pretty quick they're not something you want to carry into your customer's house after you've drug them through a crawl space or two and things like that. But these, I carry uh, a lot of stuff. The really great thing here is I can literally unload my back seat in five to six minutes. No problem. If, you know, this afternoon, if I'm working this morning, this afternoon, I want to take the kids to the zoo. No problem. I can just pull this up next to my trailer, set everything in the door of the trailer, and I'm out. No problem. Clean back seat, done. There's a few tools I keep in the floorboard back there. That It's just more whatever I set in that a job that day called for circular saw whatnot everything's battery pretty much so it it's fairly easy to just throw them in um anyway i wanted to just kind of walk you through a few things that are in that back deal and you can get an idea of what i carry for my day-to-day -day jobs uh, but we'll see how that goes see what all i have back here okay let's take a look at our organization here. This is what you run into as soon as you open my back door. This drawer deal is what I probably use more than anything. The very top drawer is all paintbrushes, brush cleaners, and some Jojo packs for cleaning my hands if I get into some mess. Some paint sticks, stir sticks, things like that. Next, down we get into the nitty gritties all these little part all the little compartments and everything are available separate for these boxes so you can do anything you want really there's a bunch of wera small screwdrivers the ones you use for little jobs anyway they have a little spin top so you can just roll those in This is my flashlight I like to keep handy, Surefire E2D Defender, and uh, I use, this is my favorite blade actually, Linux Gold for my razor blade. Keep a little pack of wood bits in there, caulk cleaning tool, that stuff. Um, back here, there's multiple wood screw, wood screw, electrical screws. And underneath that is a machine screw pack and an easy out kit for anything that's stuck. These are the cabinet uh, pull screws that will break off to the length you need. Those are very nice when you do handyman work. Some white trim nail pack in there. Regular trim nails. Some sheet metal screws. This is a razor scraper. I use this a lot, so I carry a lot of extra blades there for cleaning off windows, junk you leave on whatever, paint, that sort of thing. Back here, I got my larger wire nuts, small wire nuts, the yellow ones, and then I carry at least three of these all the time. They're just for big wire, like stove wires, things like that. In here, we get up into a little bit of plumbing stuff. I have replacement rings. These fail all the time on houses, so you might as well carry them. And I like to carry this particular kind here that will let you do inch and a half or inch and a quarter. It actually reduces it to the inch and a quarter. But I carry the standard ones as well. So if you get in a pickle, that'll save you sometimes. I got quarter inch and these are, these are the knockout deals for electrical work. You gotta have a few of those. 
cinch pack cinch rings got half inch and three quarter in there some extra door hinge plates and things and some dogs from the work bench back there oh yeah and right here i keep it's difficult to find to store really nice um allen wrench sets i've got the nice t-handle sets hanging in my trailer but i grab a set of these and i don't know they're they're so cheap they're almost free get a set of each and then you have everything you need for working on faucets and uh, that sort of stuff oh man i'm stirring everything up in there anyway there's that drawer bottom drawer okay in here's a lot more of my most commonly used fasteners i've got zip and screws for heat and air work um electrical tape and strapping this plastic strapping is very handy you need to tie pipes up out of the way whatever a lot of people haven't tied their stuff down properly sheet metal screws and these are a gem in remodeling they're pre-painted white grk cabinet screws they will pull soffit together places where a screw head would pull right through the material they're great i carry two lengths of them in my quick box here then i keep trims these are grk trim screws that'll almost hide the head you know if you really need some holding power on a piece of trim that's the way to go and i've got some sheetrock screws and they're attachment stuff back up over here this is box box screws for electrical panels people that may have lost one over time the big headed ones that drop right in anyway shelf pins back there Drywall screws, I only need a few for patching and things. Little short wood screws. Deck screws, got to carry a few of those. Three and an eighth GRK deck screws. More trim screws, another length. And these are cabinet pull screws. You got two lengths of those mixed together in there. In here, a VIX bit. You always seem to need a VIX bit. They're great for when you're installing hinges, things like that. Pre-drill for your hinge screws and you won't split the side of your door your uh, latch plate any of that things another door deal there spare cabinet hinge and a whole stack of brand new blades from an oscillating tool and these a lot of times you get called out by a customer for they got a blind fell down things like that you can just throw it throw a new one right up there for them but that's what i keep in that three drawer stack right there and we'll move on here a second and see what's in the one on top. That's my real screw organizer for that. A lot more options. And then this Festool toolbox here on top has a tremendous amount of supplies in it. Okay, we went through the drawer stack underneath. Here is what I have on top of there. This is all screws. There's Craig pocket screws for two by material, sheet metal screws, trim screws, long trim screws, deck screws shorter deck screws big supply of three and an eighth and up front are lots of extra bits for my drivers so that i always have them that lives right on top of my drawer stack so i can get to it quickly then i pulled out my toolbox i've actually thrown a little too much on the top of this but this normally closes down nice but <laughs> in here i've got electrical connections over here, a lot of miscellaneous bits that I sent that I seem to need a lot. Pencils, that sort of stuff. Over here, wiring tools, screwdrivers, drain wrench. That probably needs to go back in the building box. But, uh, and one of your most important things as a handyman, got to have your non-contact voltage tester. Right there. Scissors. Then that just flips out like a tackle box. And in here you got spacers for your electrical switches and plugs, razor blades, plumbing cutter, and heavier drywall anchors, Craig screws, brown panel nails, uh, some sheetrock screws, Collins clamp system is in here for tightening up your miters. Down here are push points for windows, and this has got plumbing o-rings and silicone grease for plumbing fixtures then we can pop out the other side of the box in there we got a spare razor blade another chuck for my drill a pack of uh, standard size tap cons the ones you use the most extra safety glasses set of punches collins clamp tool and all that 
that box is about the first thing that I take in on a job. You can kind of see why. It's got literally everything. It's pretty great. Anyway, that goes right up top. And behind there, in my back seat, is another stack. And that's got sander on top. Oh, I'm not sure what all else that, oh, the assembly set from Festool. The bottom there is my TS-55 track saw. Over in the middle, I have painting tools, saw blades, extra everything. Band-Aids, of course, little first aid kit. Got my scrapers, that sort of thing. Underneath that is a Sys MFT, which almost needs its own video. I use that to store all my clamps and stuff in. And under that is my SysVac, the little vacuum from Festool that works with all their tools. It's tool activated and everything. This one right above it, the SysVary, it's got my, all my Fluke electrical meter and those things in it. So anyway, that's the basics of what lives in my back seat. And I do that. Thanks for watching.